Hello friends, welcome to my channel Digital Chemistry. Today's topic is Kinetic Molecular Interpretation of Liquids. Let's start with the definition of liquid. What is liquid? One of the four main states of matter composed of molecules that can move about in a substance but are bound loosely together. Examples of the liquid are water, milk, oil and juice. Main postulates of the kinetic molecular theory of liquids. Force of attraction. Intermolecular forces of liquids are stronger than gases but weaker than solids. This is due to the intermolecular spaces or empty spaces between the molecules. Remember that less the empty spaces between the molecules result in more force of attraction and more the empty spaces between the molecules results in less force of attraction. Let's compare the force of attraction of the three states of matter that are solid, liquid and gas. As you can see here the diagram of the solid, here the molecules are closely packed in the solids so it results in more force of attraction. Therefore, solids are hard and rigid. Whereas the gas molecules as you can see here in a diagram are very small and far apart from one another. It means that there are large empty spaces between the gas molecules so it results in negligible force of attraction. Now let's compare the force of attraction in liquids with solid and gases. As you can see here in a diagram of the liquids, the molecular empty spaces are greater than the solids and less than the gases. So it results in less force of attraction than the solids and more force of attraction than gases. Simply the force of attraction of the liquid molecules is intermediate between the solid and gases. Kinetic energy. Average kinetic energy of the liquid molecules is more than in the solid state and less than gases. Here you can see that the kinetic energy is directly proportional to the empty spaces between the molecules. Remember that less the empty spaces between the molecules result in less kinetic energy of the molecules and more the empty spaces between the molecules result in more kinetic energy of the molecules. Let's compare the kinetic energy of the three states of the matter that are solid, liquid and the gases. As you can see here in a diagram of the solid, the molecules are closely packed. So here, the molecules just vibrate at its own point. Now, in case of the gases, as you can see here in a diagram that the molecules are very far apart from one another, it means that there are large empty spaces between the gas molecules. So it results in more kinetic energy of the gas molecules. Now let's compare the kinetic energy of the liquid with solid and gases. As you can see here, the diagram of the liquid. So here, the intermolecular spaces between the liquid molecules are more as compared to the solid and less as compared to the gases. Therefore, the kinetic energy of the liquid molecules is more as compared to the solid and less as compared to the gases. Definite volume. The molecules are close to each other, therefore empty spaces are negligible. Thus, liquid have definite volume. To understand the definite volume of liquid, let's perform an experiment. First, pour water in a glass and mark it. Here the water is 100 ml. Now transfer the water from a glass to a round bottle of glass. Again, we notice that the water is 100 ml. Finally, transfer the water from the round bottom flask to a jug and we notice here that the volume of the water in a jug is again 100 milliliter. It means that there is no change in the volume of a water, it's fixed or same. It means that the liquid having a definite volume. No definite shape. Molecules of liquid are in constant motion. They slide over each other. Thus, liquid has no definite shape. To understand the no definite shape of the liquids, let's take an experiment. First, pour water in a glass 
you can notice here that the water take the shapes of the glass. Now transfer the water from the glass to the round bottom flask. Again, you can see here that the water takes the shape of the round bottom flask. Finally, transfer the water from the round bottom flask to the kettle. You can see here that the water again change the shape and it takes the shape of the kettle. It means that liquid have no definite shape. It takes the shape of the container.